Hey guys, Mark here, Raining Wars. Welcome back. Folks, I have a um, just a brief message that I just wanted to um, throw out to my brothers and sisters out there. <clears throat> you know, folks, um, I've been, um, I just wanted to share some, uh, some things that God has just been revealing to me um, just in the last, let's say the last week or so. One of the things that I'm, I'm, uh, I'm realizing, folks, um, <clears throat> that's that's beginning to happen i think many people who are um in the kingdom of god right now are starting to experience <clears throat> um um i'll call it the blessings of the lord that are being poured out and um not only that <clears throat> um you know folks um one of the things that god is has been really showing me lately is that um signs wonders miracles um in the body of christ <clears throat> is not something that's going to be something that's obscure or that um that's odd or strange or whatever you know this these things should be i'll call it normal uh, things that occur in ministry as we are walking with the Lord and sharing the gospel with our with our brothers and sisters, encouraging them in their walk with God and those who are non-believers to come and to receive our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. You know, folks, we are if you if, if if you are not tuned in or you've just been I don't know I don't know how anybody right now can have their heads buried in the sand right now and not recognize that there's a lot of changes that are happening out here in this world and that we are living in the last days um and anyone who is who is still asleep and I and like I said again I cannot understand how anyone can see all the things that are going on out here in this world. All the changes that are taking place, all the violence, the lawlessness that's out here, all kinds of stuff, the darkness that has fallen over the land. And and not see you know where we are as far as as far as the prophetic prophetic calendar or where we are in time. You know, we are living in some very exciting times, folks. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is coming back. And he's coming back very soon. And um and and I'm telling you guys right now, anyone who is who has you know just been um I'll call it tuned out or just you know zoned out or whatever the case may be. Um you know, I um I encourage you guys to um come and to receive our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as your personal Lord and Savior. The Lord loves you, folks. He loves all of us. And God has a plan for each and every one of us. Um, I mean, folks, even though we see a lot of things that are going on in the world, but we're living in some exciting times, folks. Exciting times. We're about to see sons and daughters of the living God who have been... Um, seeking God, who have been in the presence of the Lord, who have been in the Word of God, who have been, I'll call it, um, building um, their um, the walk with God, strengthening and developing that relationship with the Lord, where it is a tight relationship, you know, um, really getting to know who their Lord and Savior is. And folks, it's not by, you know, a, um, a, you know um, an individual that's telling you who Jesus is. But spending time in the secret place, pursuing the Lord, getting in the pre presence of God, having God reveal to them who He is and who we are in Him exciting times folks and we're about to enter into uh, I'll call it uh, you know the next phase in God's plan <clears throat> where signs 
wonders and miracles are going to be, I'll call it normal practice. It's here, folks. It's here. Revival is here. It's not something that we're, you know, we're, we're continuing to wait on. Um, revival is here. Revival is now. It's now. It's here. It's with us. It's right now. And like I said, um, the children of God who have been developing that close relationship, walking in obedience to the Lord, and just, you know, just like I said, just they, they know their, they know the Lord. Um, completely surrendered onto the Lord. I'm telling you folks, <clears throat> mightily, God is going to be using his people who are surrendered unto him in the days coming. Um, in these days that are soon coming, we're going to be seeing, um, and I'll call it, and we've, we've called it power moves of God, but we also called it, you know, we're going to be seeing, um, I mean, just, we're going to see the power of God. We're going to see deliverances. We're going to be seeing healings. We're going to be seeing um, demons being cast. I mean, all kinds of things that we've seen and that we've read about in the book of Acts and in the scriptures will be normal, regular, um, I'll call it regular uh, things that take place. There is a difference between the true church of God and the religious system. The religious system, God has nothing to do with. He's not in it. But the true church of God, that church, you know, that church, go back and read in the book of Acts, that church is rising. And I call it the true church of God. And the people of God, the remnant, the ecclesia, the called out ones, those, <clears throat> um, the called out, we're about to see them come on the scene. And folks, these people don't have major names, titles, you know, huge backgrounds, or any of those kinds of things. You know, hey, many will probably won't even look like what you think as a, you know, some of uh, us that have, you know, people have had their, their religious robes, and they're holy and mighty, self-righteous and all kinds of stuff, thinking that, oh, you know, um, this is how a, a quote-unquote Christian is supposed to be like and look like. <laughs> you know, it's, what I love about God, you know, the scripture says that um, God takes the weak to shame the, and I, I paraphrase, to shame the strong. You know, the weak things of the world to shame the strong. The, the obscure things, you know, um, the, the things that other people will look at or snub their nose down or just, you know, in their selfish, high, uh, high, high and mighty, self-righteous worries. Say, you know what, that person can't be used or that person doesn't look like what a Christian is supposed to look like or, or, or you know, um, you know, he may have, you know, just the appearance or whatever. And you don't think that God can use that person. You're going to see a crop of believers that come out. No name, no background, no nothing, no title, no I've been in seminary and I've been in, you know, in the church for 50 years or all this other stuff. And I've got all these you know, uh, titles and awards. And Folks, these people love God. They're in the scripture and the word of God. They have a relationship with the Lord, tight relationship, and God's going to use them powerfully and mighty. And I'm going to tell you something, folks. The religious people are going to be probably one of the biggest groups of people that are going to be complaining, um, mocking, and speaking against. I'll call it the true believers in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The religious people will be, I'll call it that subset or that group that are going to be coming against probably the most against 
the true believers in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Watch it, folks. Watch. It's coming. It's coming. God has nothing to do with religion. It's always and always has and always will be about your relationship, your personal relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If you do not know Jesus, I strongly urge you. In fact, I, 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 I beg you to come and to receive our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ today. Don't wait, folks. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait. Nothing is promised to anyone. Every day that you are you awake and you are alive, you have breath in your body, that's a blessing from the Lord. Eternity, folks, is a long time. And the Lord wants to see all of us in heaven with him. But he doesn't force himself on anyone. So... I encourage all my brothers and sisters out here um, to come. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, come to him today. He has an awesome plan for your life. And, um, and I'm going to tell you, all of us who are in the kingdom of God right now are experiencing the blessings of the Lord, but also in pursuit of that plan of God, I'm telling you folks, there's nothing better, nothing, nothing that you would want more than to be in hot pursuit in what God, the plan that God has for your life, and that you're pursuing it and doing it. So, I'll end it here. I love you guys. These are some awesome times that we're living in. I'm telling you folks, we're about to see demonstrations of God's power through his people like we've never seen before. It's coming. So, share, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment. Folks, God loves you with deep love. And um, whatever issue, situation, circumstances you find yourself, Jesus Christ is the answer. I'll end it there.